After three years since their debut, Espa is still maintaining their popularity and position as one of the top girl groups of the fourth generation. However, it seems like SM is wasting the talents of the four girls by continuously delaying their comeback. Lacking investment in their concept, music style, and more recently, Espa doesn't seem to be as explosive as they were a year ago. Espa's struggling career despite their stable talent and achievements. Debuting in 2020, Espa was one of Isuman's most dedicated projects with a concept that was never seen before in K-pop, related to digital entities. To lay the foundation for Espa, the renowned producer even built a unique worldview for the entire SM town called Kwangya. In the beginning, the new girl group faced unfavorable and skeptical views about their future, as there were many people who thought the group's concept is ridiculous and silly. However, with talent, attraction, and reasonable direction from the company, Espa gradually established themselves as one of the leading Gen 4 girl groups. As evidence, the girls had an explosive debut with Black Mamba in November 2020. With their unique worldview, the group has continuously released hits like Next Level and Savage. In addition, Espa has won several rookie awards at year-end music award shows, and they were also the first Gen 4 group to achieve a real-time all-kill on the digital charts with Next Level. Last year, they set several new records such as selling over 1.6 million pre-order copies becoming the girl group with the second highest pre-orders in K-pop history, and topping many iTunes charts around the world. Overall, Espa has shown their ability to succeed in both physical album and digital streaming markets. However, from July 2022 to now, the four girls have not released any full albums. Although Katana and Winter came back with Got The Beat, that has not eased public concerns about Espa's uncertain future disadvantage due to SM Entertainment's internal dispute. When the group was in the stage of being able to win and move forward, SM Entertainment fell into an internal dispute that raged throughout the Korean music industry. In early 2023, SM's leadership team headed by CEO Lee Sung-soo had a conflict with former CEO and producer Lee soo -man. The artists under the company suddenly became entangled in a dispute facing many disadvantages. Espa is probably the one that has suffered the most. The current CEO of SM affirmed that Isuman used Espa as a means to conduct a smart music city business, making it difficult for the girls' comeback. Specifically, CEO Lee Song Su said the release of Espa's new album was planned to be launched around February 20, and the concert would be held about a week later. However, the comeback was postponed because Lee Suman said that the lyrics were not suitable for the group. To implement that business, Lee Suman also requested that messages related to ESG, environment, social governance, and some business management terms be included in the company's groups' songs. Lee Song Su said that Lee Suman is trying to stuff messages about planting trees, sustainability, ESG, calling for new market development and cultural exchange in order to have the right to operate casinos and real estate. In response to Lee Suman's excessive interference, CEO Lee Song Su decided to cancel the songs for Espa's benefit, and that is also the reason why the group's comeback was postponed. Fierce competition with Gen 4 girl groups. The coverage that Espa has had in the Korean music industry since their debut obviously can't be denied. However, their six-month hiatus period and the delayed comeback schedule made the girls find it difficult to maintain their appeal, especially in the context of many Gen 4 girl groups mushrooming like crazy. Many netizens pointed out that Espa's music is showing signs of stagnation because they cannot freely express their own style. Meanwhile, competing rivals such as New Jeans, Ive, La Seraphim, etc. constantly create hit songs, set trends, and are recognized both domestically and internationally. Along with the music, these three girl groups continue to increase their influence in other fields such as fashion, advertising, variety shows, etc. If Espa wants to gain a competitive advantage and consolidate their position in all aspects, the first thing they need to do is to release new music products as soon as possible. Espa's unique concept is difficult for the majority of the public to access. As previously mentioned, their concept is two intertwined real virtual worlds, opening up the metaverse era and contributing to birth of Kwangya. However, this concept has faced strong opposition since their debut. 
SM has not been able to help the girls fully exploit the unique and innovative elements of this concept, as the quality of the Avatar graphics still only reaches a decent level, if not outdated and worse compared to other Avatars in the market. Especially in their comeback with Savage, the strange movements of the four ESPA members made fans feel uncomfortable and cringy. Thus, many believe that SM is wasting ESPA's talent by having them pursue the AI concept, while the company has not been able to upgrade the quality and create a more distinctive version. SM's plan of debuting a new girl group in 2023 will possibly kick ESPA to the curb. At the beginning of this year, SM announced important plans for its artists and the direction of the year 2023. With the schedule being revealed, fans of SM's idol groups were excited and couldn't sit still with anticipation for the return of their idols. However, lots of ESPA's fans voiced opposing opinions about this plan. Specifically, SM introduced the upcoming debut of a new girl group, a virtual solo artist, a new boy group, and NCT Tokyo in 2023. Contrary to expectations of thrilling fans, the announcement of a new girl group launch this year caused a big controversy, as fans believe that the company is neglecting ESPA and is likely to abandon them. They argue that the fact that SM is launching a new girl group while ESPA is performing well as a pioneering girl group of Gen 4, leading the trend of the metaverse and is still relevant, is a clear demonstration of the company's greed and unfaithfulness. Is there hope for a brighter future for ESPA? After the storms, the sky will clear up, and the activities of the four girls lately also show positive signs. After more than two years since their debut, ESPA recently met with fans through their first concert sync, Hyperline, which was held on February 25th and 26th at the Jamsil Arena, Seoul, South Korea. At the concert, the girls performed a total of 25 songs on a sophisticatedly designed stage with explosive effects. The girls also expressed their gratitude for the warm support of fans and hope that everyone would look forward to their upcoming activities. After Seoul, the girls will continue to bring the Sync Hyperline concert to Japan, with the first performance in Osaka on March 15. In addition, through the fourth quarter of the 2022 earnings report, SM Town announced the expected comeback lineup for the first half of 2023, and ESPA's name is included in the comeback plan scheduled for April. Despite the difficult situation, Situation, fans still have high hopes for SM's innovation and trust in the talent and courage of all four ESPA members, especially when they have received overwhelming support from loyal fan communities around the world. So, do you think SM is really wasting ESPA? Or are they just having a little trouble and will have more activities for the group in the future? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching!